How's it going? It's been a minute. If a minute is equal to 13 months, then yeah. And I really don't want this to be one of those videos where the people say, hey, I left YouTube and these are the nine reasons why. I mean, it's a little overdone and I don't wanna be that guy. But it is important, I believe, to give you a little bit of a backstory about what's been happening since the last time you saw me here. So let's cut to the short story, shall we? So everything was going pretty good during the pandemic. I, that sounds weird to say, but it really was true. This channel grew bigger during the pandemic. And I think a lot of that had to do with people were cooped up watching YouTube videos all the time. And so my channel grew and I think a lot of channels grew. It was great for a while until the pandemic was over and then everybody went back to work. And so people stopped watching videos, people stopped using Affinity because they were going back to their regular design jobs where Adobe was waiting for them and they didn't have to pay for it. The thing is, is I wormed my way into that Affinity niche and I didn't really have that much love for it. I, I, it saw the views and I saw the subscriber count jump and so I just chased that dragon for as long as I possibly could until I just wasn't into it anymore. So I pivoted my way into a new YouTube channel and then I pivoted again and then I pivoted again until I got over the dizzy spells and I realized I found myself in a pretty familiar place. So a little over 10 years ago, I had a blog and a podcast called Fresh Rag. And during that, I tried to share a lot of stories about my personal experience as an artist and creator and a seller and a marketer. I did that as a way to kind of help creative visual artists thrive in the market in you know they're in new ways because things are changing all the time however time had changed a little bit and i'd kind of gotten a little bit behind the times when it came to making art and then promoting it and then selling it i mean i would do all the other things but i wasn't making as much and so the personal experience i had with that whole aspect was kind of left behind and i was like i need to do something about this otherwise i'm not going to be relatable to the people that are doing it in the real thing. They're going to be more experienced at it than I am, and so how can I be an authority unless I get to it? So I started making art, and I thought, well, I'll just do it enough, and I'll share my entire story, and that way people can see exactly all the different things that I had done along the way. The thing is, is that I kind of fell in love with the art. Then the writing wasn't as fun for me anymore. So Fresh Rag died, or rather I killed it, and then Dave Conroy, the artist, emerged from the ashes. And it's been that way for just over 10 years now. Jumping ahead to about April 2022, I'd kind of been introduced to Substack, which is a blogging and newsletter platform that I'd started using just to kind of share my stories. And it really became interesting. It just felt fun to me to be on there because I could share, and then I started growing because there was like a network thing involved, and, and these people just started coming out of everywhere to start reading what I was writing and as it started to grow and people started to share with me their stories about how much what I was sharing was impacting them in some positive ways I thought well okay I'm gonna lean into this so I rebranded it as the hungry which is kind of like the opposite of the starving artist like right? the hungry artist eats and this thing started to feel really good and it felt natural and I was like on a good trajectory and I was like this I feel like I'm in a right good spot. So now I've got this weekly outlet where I get to share creative news, stories, and insights, and people are getting good information from it, and everything just feels good. It feels like the next generation of Fresh Rag, except the difference is, is that I have 10 years more of experience now that I get to share in that. And so everything that I've learned over the last 10 years can now be applied back into the concept of what I was trying to do before just now a lot better. Except now I've fallen so in love with that that I kind of completely abandoned selling my art. Things just go weird sometimes. I don't get it. I don't understand how it works inside my brain sometimes, but that's just how it works. Here I am on my way to creative glory when I realize that, you know, the art just isn't giving me the same joy, or at least the selling and the marketing and the promoting of the art. I'd much rather be sharing my experiences and sharing my wisdom and sharing the experience and wisdom of other people than I would my actual art. And if I'm being completely truthful, it's not sharing the art, obviously, that makes me happy, but the making of the art. I'd much rather be in the process than I would be in whatever happens next because I make something and then it goes up there on that shelf right there, but I don't really dig what happens after that. Like, I just wanna be here in the mix, doing the thing. So for just shy of a year now, The Hungry has kind of become more of a news and information site. And though it's mostly written by me with a few collaborators and whatnot, it's not about me. It shares my voice, but it's not about my 
experience personally. Of course, it's some of that in there, but that's not the core concept of The Hungry. Me being me, I wanted to share my personal thoughts and my experiences in a way that might be beneficial to others, but I didn't want it to be part of The Hungry. I mean, I share a little bit of it once in a while, but I wanted a, a separate place where I could put these thoughts so that they are independent to me. At some point, maybe The Hungry becomes bigger than myself and there's more people involved, and I, I, I won't be the central voice of that, but I will still have my Dave blog on the side over here, which is the second thing I started about a couple months ago. And it's just talking about all of those experiences. Then I share my stats, I share the inside scoop about what's happening with the hungry. Like I share all the nitty gritty details. So the Dave blog is great. It's fun, I get to share all these experiences. It's not nearly as big, not even by a long shot, but I get to show the behind the curtain stuff that I really appreciate. However, it's still missing one factor. And that's you. Now, the beauty of The Hungry and the Dave blog is that I've got all kinds of content opportunities. I got so many different things I can talk about these days, which is great. I mean, I got content coming out of every orifice. Don't make it weird. The thing is, is that it doesn't have the visual component. If you've known me for any stretch of time, then you know that I'm a ham for the camera. So, you know, I had to bring it back. And so here we are. But what does this mean for you? The truth is, I'm a little unclear. <laughs> That's not probably what you want to hear, but I am a little unclear because I just kind of want to see where the ship will take me. So I'm going to share these insights and stories and see what you guys react to and then kind of go from there. But I'm not going to find myself diving into some weird niche like I did before. Okay, this is just where we're at. I, my goal is always going to be the same. It's always going to be let us grow together. So it'll be deep dives into how we live our creative lives and why it is we suffer all these slings and arrows of the traditional art industry. We'll figure out best ways to grow, whether that's social media or communities or written creative content, or I don't know, maybe old school networking to figure out how we can do all of that better, easier, something that's a little less painful than the way that we have going, we're have we going through it right now. Cause I don't know, there's gotta be a better way sometimes. And then of course, we're gonna listen to the wisdom and experiences of other people in the creative world. Those who have really made it. And even some that are outside the creative world, because hey, you may not think you know how to learn from an automotive channel on YouTube, but there might be some information there, or you may want to learn from some fashion people or, you know, how people grow trees and grow channels at the same time. And although I probably will have a lot of content to choose from, because like I said, the hungry and the day blog, they're churning new information out for me that I feel like will be really appropriate. That doesn't mean I'm going to be churning out videos every single week. Like I did before. I'm only human guys. And as you can already see, I've got tons of stuff going on, but I will say this, I will contribute to the channel consistently. What does that mean exactly? I'm not sure. But the most important thing is, is that I'm going to make a really strong effort to make the best videos I possibly can. And I don't know if this one is one of them, but I'm hoping that you enjoyed it enough to, you know, stick to the end. If you made it this far and you still were hoping for some affinity content, well, I'm sorry, that's not going to be it anymore. But maybe what I'm sharing will still be relevant to you because we are still talking about creative lives, creative work. And so, Maybe there's some nuggets here for you. And if you feel good enough about that content, then maybe give it a like, right? Yeah, it's right, it's right there. Just that, not two, just one. And then if you really enjoyed it, share it with some friends. Is that a good deal? I mean, maybe, you know, we'll see. I don't have a lot of promise to give you at this point because it's just the first video back. Let's see, what else is up? Um, I'm the only one in the family who hasn't gotten COVID. I have a man child now. This was him 13 years ago, okay? And uh, that's him today. Who is this kid? I'm just waiting for the girls to be hammering on the door trying to ask him where he's at. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you hanging out. If you enjoyed this, you know, like I said, do the things and then um, I'll see you next time. Hey, have a great day.